Hi guys, my name's Lance, I'm the manager here at Weekend Craft and I'm going to explain to you the difference in between the quality of the timber that we use and how we do things. So an example of the knot is here, you've got a nice tight knot there and you can just see it that it's starting to crack and then if you come over to this one it's getting worse, you can see it and if you go to that one there that's almost ready to fall out and you're going to have a nice dirty hole in the middle of your table. So it just gives you an idea as to why we only use clear timber. Now if we go over here, this is another baleena that we have made just to show you the difference. This is a nice clear one that will be going into our shop. As you can see there's no knots in it whatsoever at all. If there is, I've done something wrong and I need a good slap. So, the next stage for us here is what we do is we put a combat sealer on it and it helps reduce mould being able to grow on your tables because no one wants to have mould sitting on top of your table, it doesn't look nice and the only way to stop that really is to sand it back and to use the combat sealer to reduce the risk of mould growing. Show you the combat sealer that we actually use. This is it here, it's forest wood combat sealer, and it's just a clear coat, so you put it on and it dries, and then you're back left with what you would see here. So you basically just slap it all on, make sure you're getting good cover. More good. You're getting it on the floor, you know do it, you know you're doing it right. You want to make sure that you're using dry timber when you do this, otherwise the, it's not actually going to soak into your timber and it's not actually going to do anything. So that's something that you want to know. Fallout timber is dry, it's been air dried for 12 months. Okay, so you just slap it on and then you basically just wipe the excess off. This stuff's really simple compared to staining, there's a bit more of an art to that. Combat sealer done, and then basically all you do now is you, what I would do is I'd transfer it from out of the workshop and into the staining area so that there's no dust, and then I'd let that dry within about, depending on how cold it is, if it's warm you could have that dry in three day, three hours, if not sometimes it takes 24 hours on a cold day, that's the downside of doing it, but it is worth the exercise. So.